Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so we are, this is sort of day two for me on this job. So we're gonna get on with getting these outside lights sorted. So we have got these bad boys across here that are gonna be taken out. Um, there is also some PIR lights on either side. Now, if you're new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you hit the link in one of the corners. Not sure which one it is. I should know by now, but I don't, so don't sue me. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, so let's get stuck into the video. So on, so this PIR light here is going to be going, and there's another one on this side that's, that's going to be, we're going to take that out. And also there is a nice security light. So the gist of the job is, so we're going to be getting rid of those and installing some like very decorative long like uh, feature lights so they're going to be on both ends of the pillar but the tricky part is that it's switched from the front door um but right by the left hand side of that door we're gonna we want another light there um so that is going to be a bit of a challenge so i suppose as part of that job is that is going to be the biggest thing so first things first i'm going to strip all these out and get those gone so i get back to just my switch lives um, that is what i'm doing right now but again customers bang on straight out with a t that's what i like to see okay so it's a bit tricky to see really in fairness so i'm going to use the old torch so hopefully you can see all that clear enough um, so what I've done is, so that feed that's up, up there, that was powering up the security light out the front. And then this lot, all this wonderful arrangement, does those tiny little, um, the little down lights that are on the front. So I've now disconnected that. So that feed that's in the corner is linked to the switch that's back in the hallway, if that makes any sense. So what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna go outside and get all the other bits stripped off. So we'll cut these bits off so they're out and then I can take down the actual lights um, because as it stands, they're, yeah, they're gonna get in my way. Okay, so we're all stripped out, uh, all the lights gone. So what we've done is scrape those bits off. There was like, there's a little bit of um, uh, trunking on there, so we scrape them off. So we'll give them all a bit of a big, big wipe on the uh, soffit anyway. So stripped out. Okay, so the next stage for me is to try and suss out a way of getting a cable over to that end. So that end of the house down there. So the idea is that, that we're going to try and get the light mounted on this part here. Um, so the CCTV up here, so there's been a cable run through. I know where the DVR is for that. So there's been a cable run through. It's just, how easy is that? Um, so I'm gonna pop inside, because there's another loft access, uh, and see if I can get to where that is. If I can get to where that is, I stand half a chance on that. So bear with me and I will be back in two. Ready? Okay, so the gist of it is, right? Hear me out. So these are the lights, okay? Big, long, I think they're like 1800 long, something like that. No, they're not, what am I on about? 1500 long, something like that. I don't know, who cares, they're long, they're big, look. Right, so, strip the roof above. Because obviously the cavity continues all the way through, I can't get a two there. I can rod probably from that end, okay? So this is the plan, this is the plan. I've core drilled above, okay, so I've done like a 30 mil core above there. I'm now going to do the same because the top of my light is going to sit around here, okay, so I'm going to core here, but aiming of an angle that sort of direction. And the idea is, with the help of the old super rods, I'm going to hopefully be able to use the old magnet and chain and see if I can fish between the two. Fingers crossed. Okay, that is the plan. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so hopefully that works. If not, oof, I don't know.
now you wouldn't even believe that honestly i gotta show you that is mental first go i gotta bring you in okay so i was struggling with the old magnet and steel magnet and steel um and i thought right i'll just whip the old cable tongue give that a whirl and you're not gonna believe it literally first go genuinely first go up boom so what an absolute result so absolutely made up with that so now that means that i've got my route through so obviously i've got to seal those up it's not like they're going to be left there like that anyway same as on the top and then i've got to rebuild all the roof once i've got the cable through but i'm absolutely made up with that in fairness did not think that was going to happen okay so <laughs> Now we've got that through and I'm absolutely made up with that. Um, next stage for me really is actually just to get the cable up through there. I've got to climb in this loft space, drag it back through, and then it'll be back out here. So I should, in theory, be able to keep those original holes. Um, so one of the things that I like to do, especially when it's quite important that I don't, you know, cock this one up, um, is making sure so for tying these off, is I use all three cores. Um, so hopefully you can see that from over there um, with a bit of luck. So if I can use all three, it's actually a lot stronger. Um, so hopefully I should be able to pull that up in one go. And there you have it. So, got my cable up here now. So what I'm going to do now is get the rod pushed from, um, pushed from the loft area. Hopefully, aim for that corner. So should, should be able to see the light, uh, and then I can attach that on and drag it back through. So, right, better go and jump in that loft. Okay, so I've managed to get the rod through. Just cut that off. So the rod's come all the way out to this point here. And then, I think they call this a cable sock, I believe. I, got, I like, I prefer snake skin, that's what I want to call it. So that's what it reminds me of. So I pull that through, but what I need to do is make sure I've got plenty of slack up here. Because it would make life a lot easier. So it's a bit of a pull all the way around so it's got to go all the way around there it look, doesn't look much but in there it's yeah there's a lot of stuff to sort of show you really so hopefully you should see this cable disappearing are you ready you should be able to see it here we go Okay, I've got that in my hand now in the loft. Okay, one cable from there, up into the loft space, and now I've got to feed it back into the, the loft of the garage. Um, so I've got to get it back into the loft there, and then there's a hole here on this bit. So that is what we're going to try and aim for now, is try and keep the existing holes, because I think that should be fine, should be within our new lights. Um, and then from there, back into the loft, not like the previous installer where they just tucked it above the garage door, not a good move. Back in the loft, over the other side, drop back down. So, wish me luck.
So that's the lights on. Um, so all wired up. Back also on to down those those two there. So the next jobs for me now um, is to actually wire them up. Now what I've done is I've neatened up the cables. I can't really show you because it's too dark in there. It's really annoying. Um, but I've neatened up the cables on the back side of there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the connections up in the loft space. I thought I'd done by being in there, but I haven't. Um, so I'm going to climb back up um, and get in, get in there, do my joint up there so it's nice and neat. It takes away everything else that's kind of potentially on show, if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to jump back up into the loft and get that sorted. And then in theory, we should all be ready to uh, for the big switch on. Okay, so all on, just to um, hopefully you can see, it's like bright days, we're hard, hard on the old filming side of things today. Um, so just a quick recap on what I've done. Um, so we have isolated all the old existing lights because we had some down lights that was underneath the soffit. They've gone, security lights gone. Um, and then what I've had to do is obviously, the trickiest bit was actually getting the cable in through that side. So it's all rewired. Um, now back as it should be because it was a lot of like DIY Dave going on um, which is obviously not great is it let's be honest um, so I think you'll all agree it's actually really really smart install um, the neighbours has actually got a very well the same lights funnily enough and the, the effect on it in the evening is absolutely spectacular um, hopefully you've enjoyed it and if you have please make sure you hit the subscribe button give us a thumbs up and we shall catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching guys, take care.